What if I told you that your morning coffee might be lowering your testosterone? Or what if I told you, done right, it could actually boost your mental clarity, muscle growth and fat burning potential? Most guys are drinking coffee all wrong, destroying their energy, spiking the cortisol, wrecking the sleep and then wondering why they feel tired, anxious or just flat out weak. But in this video, I'll show you how to turn your daily cup of coffee into a testosterone friendly ritual backed by science, no gimmicks, no bro science, just real strategies. So before you brew your next cup, you'll want to hear this. Let's get into it. The truth about coffee, friend or foe. Coffee's been called everything from a superfood to a stress inducing stimulant. And honestly, both can be true. Let's break it down. Coffee contains caffeine, obviously, but it also contains antioxidants like chlorogenic acid, which has been shown to reduce inflammation, protect cells, and even enhance insulin sensitivity. And moderate coffee intake, about two to three cups per day, has been linked to reduce risks of diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, type two diabetes, and even prostate cancer. Sounds amazing, right? Here's a problem, and it's a big one. The way most men drink coffee completely cancels out those benefits and might even tank their testosterone. Let me explain. Caffeine spikes cortisol. That's the body's main stress hormone. Now, cortisol itself isn't bad. It's natural. It wakes you up, it gets you moving. But chronically elevated cortisol, that's a testosterone killer. Your body treats stress and reproduction like a zero sum game. If cortisol stays high, testosterone stays low and coffee, especially on an empty stomach, jacks cortisol sky high. Combine that with poor sleep, processed food and zero sunlight and suddenly your daily pick me up becomes a hormonal wrecking ball. So the question isn't, is coffee good or bad? It's how are you drinking it? Because when done right, coffee can actually support your testosterone and performance. How coffee affects testosterone and hormones. Let's get specific. In a 2008 study published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition titled Caffeine Consumption and Reproductive Hormones in Healthy Premenopausal Women, caffeine intake was associated with a slight increase in SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin, which binds to testosterone and makes it inactive. That means more caffeine, more SHBG, potentially less free testosterone. But another study from 2012 in the Nutrition Journal, coffee consumption and circulating levels of hormones and inflammatory markers in healthy men found that moderate coffee intake actually increased total testosterone while reducing estradiol, a form of estrogen. So what's going on here? It comes down to how much, when, and with what you drink your coffee. Here's what you want to avoid. Coffee first thing in the morning on an empty stomach leads to spikes in cortisol and wrecks your stomach lining. Sugary syrups, oat milk, or artificial creamers leads to insulin spikes and potential estrogenic effects. Four plus cups of coffee per day leads to excessive caffeine and then adrenal fatigue, anxiety, and sleep disruption. On the flip side, here's what works. Coffee, 60 to 90 minutes after waking, ideally post protein fat rich breakfast with that. You can have that black or with a splash of organic cream or grass fed butter. One to two cups max, ideally consumed before 2 p.m. paired with light movement or sunlight. This balances cortisol and dopamine, why you need to cycle coffee. One of the most overlooked mistakes, not cycling off caffeine. Caffeine works by blocking adenosine, the chemical that makes you feel sleepy. But over time, your body produces more adenosine receptors, which means you need more caffeine just to feel normal. This is called tolerance and it's why your first cup ever felt magical, but now your fourth barely wakes you up. Worse, caffeine tolerance means your natural energy levels crash when you're off it. Your testosterone, dopamine and motivation all take a hit. So what's the solution? A caffeine reset. Try this. Every six to eight weeks, take five to seven days off caffeine entirely. Yes, you'll get headaches. Yes, you'll feel like a zombie. That's the point. When you reintroduce caffeine, it works again. Alternatively, switch to decaf 
for a week while keeping the ritual intact. That not only resets your tolerance, but it improves your sleep, dopamine sensitivity, and even mental clarity. Coffee and sleep, the hidden connection. Sleep is your testosterone factory. 90% of your daily testosterone is produced during REM sleep, but caffeine has a half-life of five to six hours. That means if you drink a cup of coffee at 3 p.m., half of that caffeine is still in your system at 9 p.m. And for some guys, especially slow caffeine metabolizers, it lingers even longer. This destroys sleep quality even if you fall asleep fine. One study from the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine 2013 found that consuming caffeine even six hours before bed reduced total sleep time by over an hour. Less sleep equals less testosterone. So if you're watching this and wondering why you wake up groggy with low drive, no morning wood, or just unmotivated, your afternoon espresso might be to blame. Simple fix, set a caffeine cutoff time. For most guys, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. is ideal. After that, switch to water, herbal tea, or decaf. Upgrade your coffee, the testosterone-friendly hacks. Let's turn your cup of coffee into a performance weapon. Here's how to supercharge your brew without sabotaging your hormones. Filtered water only, use high quality filtered water. Tap water often contains fluoride, chlorine, and microplastics potential endocrine disruptors. Choose organic mold-free beans, mycotoxins, mold toxins are a real problem, especially in cheap beans. Brands like Purity Coffee, Kion or UK Roasters like Origin and Volcano Coffee do a better job here. Add fat, not sugar. Try grass-fed butter, MCT oil or full-fat organic cream. Avoid oat milk. It's high in processed oils and can spike blood sugar. Try a pinch of sea salt. A small pinch of mineral-rich sea salt enhances flavour and supports adrenal function. Sodium, potassium and magnesium all support testosterone regulation. Add testosterone supportive compounds. Some men mix in collagen, macaroo or Ceylon cinnamon. These can support hormonal balance and blood sugar regulation. Never add vegetable oils or fake creamers. These are loaded with seed oils, pro-inflammatory and estrogenic. If you're on a testosterone protocol or looking to optimize naturally, these hacks make a big difference. Coffee, dopamine and discipline. Coffee doesn't just affect your hormones, it affects your motivation. Caffeine spikes dopamine, the neurotransmitter linked to reward and drive. Sounds good, right? But here's a catch. If you overstimulate dopamine daily, your receptors get desensitized. This means real life wins like finishing a workout, closing a deal or making progress on your goals feel less rewarding. This is why high caffeine plus high screen time equals moderate male burnout. To avoid this, pair caffeine with real world effort. Use it to fuel action, not scrolling. Take caffeine free dopamine reset nature walks, ice baths, lifting, deep work without distractions. Use caffeine strategically before training, cold showers or focused work sessions, not just out of habit. When you are intentional with your dopamine, your testosterone follows. Let's quickly address the intermittent fasting crowd. Yes, black coffee can enhance fat burning by mobilizing fatty acids, especially when fasted, it suppresses appetite, boosts metabolism, and increases epinephrine. But again, timing is key. Too much caffeine in a fasted state can trigger stress, anxiety, and even muscle breakdown if you're under-recovered. What works better? Black coffee plus electrolytes plus light movement equals great fasted protocol. Don't fast if you've slept poorly or feel weird, anxious. Eat and recover, and if you're doing fasted workouts, coffee can help. But Make sure you're hydrating and fueling right after. Coffee versus energy drinks versus pre-workouts. Coffee equals natural caffeine plus antioxidants plus low risk of fillers. Energy drinks equals synthetic caffeine plus sugar plus artificial sweeteners plus taurine or synthetic vitamins. Pre-workouts equal high stim beta alanine, niacin flush, artificial dyes, sometimes banned substances. In short, coffee is the least risky for your hormones, but again, it's only as clean as your beans, water and routine. How to drink coffee like a high test man. To wrap this up, coffee isn't the enemy, it's a tool. Use it wrong and it will quietly destroy your testosterone, sleep, motivation and mental clarity. Use it right and it becomes a performance enhancer, fueling your discipline, metabolism and hormonal edge. 
Here's your testosterone-friendly coffee protocol. Wait 60 to 90 minutes after working. Never drink it on an empty stomach. Use high quality organic beans. Add good fats. Ditch the oat milk. Cut caffeine after 2 p.m. Cycle off every six to eight weeks. Respect your dopamine training discipline. And you'll feel the difference in energy, focus, and presence. Want more performance tips like this? Hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment with your coffee routine below. I read everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Testosterone Growth. Stay sharp, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.